What's going on guys? I am here reacting to Taboo Episode 2. Let's see if James gets his land. So, you have no problem with the principle of obeying me, just the execution. Execution of Delaney. I told you to take care of it. It is taking a little longer than I anticipated. Only Delaney's death will render it obsolete. Man, I don't like him in this show either. Fuck. You may choose to leave my services if you wish, Mr. Brent. What is it about you bloody mad Delaney's? Toward the end, you said my father, Elliot. I lived on air and honey beer. From where? From a man in Featherlane. A man who's since died. And his wife since left. He's gotta figure out who poisoned his dad. Gentlemen, Jardine, Matheson and Company would like to commence this candle auction with a published list of 12 items for sale. First item on the list, a merchantman brig. 80, 90, 700. 800 pounds. Lisa Venturetto sold. 800 pounds to the Delaney Nooker Trading Company. That fucking man will hang for treason. I love how he gets under these guys' skins. Why wouldn't he even look at our offer? Why would he defy logic and the king? They got to him first. One of the agents approached him, briefed him, gave him money, and secured his services. Who, who did, sir? The United States. The fucking Americans! <laughs> it's the biggest thing you saw in Africa. An elephant. That's who was it. Atticus, give me my horse back. Oh, so the money you followed, right, man? Ah. See, there it is. 20 pounds is what I might. I know you're gold, and you just bought a ship to so pay up. For what? Well, you know when someone wants a mad kill, they come to Dolphin. Well, about a year ago, gentleman comes in. So right there where you are now. So is that about old Norris Delaney? The mad bastard lying fires by the river. So he falls in, current saints him. So I said, you go or I'll slit your gizzard and drop you in the current you're playing with Captain Delaney. And who was this gentleman? So how much will you give me for not killing your father? Nothing. He's dead. Well, 15 pounds. 15 pounds. And the return of your ropes. I will give you 15 pounds. They are attempting to blockade our trading routes to the west. And the Blue Crosses are the Royal Navy ships um, preparing to engage. They say that the Irish are supplying the blockade. Yes, they are ready to draw the map again and make the British red and the Americans green or something. Tell the Admiralty, although the gossips say that all Prinny wants is flowers and waltzes, in truth, Prinny also demands the American ships be sunk, the survivors hanged, the bodies of the drowned nailed to the church walls of Ireland to stop their rebels making common cause. The fuck is this? Oh, it's um, from the East India. Fuck them as well. I intend to. It's just how could gave information to a man with a silver tooth. I spy on her. From the conversation, he meant to do you harm. And the mistress knew it. She wants you dead so she can have her rooms back. Tell me about this man with the silver tooth. Are you tricking me? No. That's what I first thought. This is a trick. What are you gonna do? Well... I shall ask him why he's been sent to kill me. And by whom? Stay. Wait. 
says, where did my father keep his most important things? What is it you're looking for? Not the sound treaty. May be written on deer skin. So what you're saying is, Chris, do you have any idea where I can find my own death warrant? I may need to prove to a tribunal that the land was acquired by treaty and not by conquest. <laughs> You can have any girl you want. I do not have a girl of that name. No. A mulatto? I would kill for a mulatto. Danish pay double. You have goodness in you. What goodness? You do, you do. You have goodness in you. You can see it in your eyes. And you have the same eyes as her. She's your daughter, isn't she? And that's why you don't run down. I would very much like to talk business. But I would like you inside of me, Mr. Delaney. It's my first commission. I need to know where Mr. Silvertooth is hiding. Thank you. Guilty? Where the hell are you going now? Someone has been brought to London to try and kill me. I'm going to speak to them and ask them why. I'm off duty. I have a wound in my left shoulder. From the mast of a ship called the Yankee Prize. So I should call you comrade? We shall see. They said you were a doctor. Sheep is a sheep. But also meat and wool. You are a doctor, you are a merchant, and you are a spy. Unless you tell me who sent you, I will have to ask you to leave at the point of a gun. A man who called himself Colonel. Uh, what do you want? I want a line of conference with the president of the 15 states of America. You see, I have something of great value to your nation. I hear you bought a ship. I did. Then I discovered that it was formerly used for carrying slaves. And before it was taken by the Spanish, it was once owned by the Honorable East India Company. The East India don't do slaves. No, no, they don't. But they do run cloth and trade beads to Tangiers with the Scarf family. And then slaves to Trinidad. The one with such close connections, I am surprised that you don't know. You have been my father's lawyer for the past 40 years. And in all that time, you reported every detail of his most intimate business to his enemies at the East India Company. When you left London, the East India was a trading company. Now it is God Almighty. It has more men and weapons and ships than all the Christian nations combined. 